Hi everyone and welcome back to the Love You Show where we teach you the fundamentals about self-acceptance, self-love, and self-care. My name is Ashley and this is my co-host Andrew. Welcome back and to reiterate self-acceptance, you're okay with who you are, there's nothing wrong with you. Self-love, you start to take the actions to support that, i.e. don't care what other people think about you. Self-care, take care of yourself, work out, take a bath. Blah, blah, blah. So today is a momentous occasion for the company and Ashley and I, because it's been almost a year since the pandemic happened. Yep. And we had to pivot into this mask business that we've been doing for almost a year. And we reached our 20,000th mask mark and we wanted to celebrate and honor that moment by first of all thanking everybody that supported us uh just hearing the word 20,000 masks Ashley how's that make you feel well one the fact that you said it's been a year and it feels like a hundred years ago that we started (laughs) the mask business because Each day we took it day by day, issue by issue, and we did a lot of problem solving and a lot of pivoting. And there was so much growth and things that we had to learn as a business and working with others and also a pandemic happening. And I think it just really taught us a lot about ourselves and what we want for this business and what we want to continue. So it's been a a great learning experience um, for the most part. And I've never been more happier now before since before the pandemic i felt like i was in this really rough spot and this pandemic kind of gave us a repurpose again of our business and kind of showed us that we don't have to be this one thing that everybody expects us to do and we enjoyed it yeah and i also think you've done a lot of personal growth Mm -hmm. you've really changed a lot in the year so talk a little bit about some of the challenges we encountered i mean i was looking at our blogs today from during the pandemic because i would blog every day just to get it out and uh you know going to la and looking for fabric and you know just finding people to come in here and work because what we got to realize it was dangerous it was like i think we were on the other side of this pandemic where we were seeing the effects of everyone's mind shifting into this mask world and it's like we were living this pandemic but we were living it in a whole different i don't know how to explain it like trying to find fabric trying to find people who would help us during this time um donating masks and then finding out that like this virus is you need this type of mask and Mm -hmm. i don't know it was just like the unknown Mm -hmm. was very scary but it was also learning that we have no control over the unknown and we're just gonna have to learn to live with that um so that was a huge i think that was like our first challenge well also when you think about people's lives were at stake yeah so you know there i was reading one of the blogs where we had to make a choice between getting the mask ready for retail or getting the masks ready to donate yeah to you know local hospitals etc so the most amazing thing about everything during this was that we had to stay true to our values yep and not only our personal values but the values as a company so we always had to revisit those values and what that meant to us Any of the other? I mean, you don't know this, but we had Ashley's entire family working here. Oh my gosh. Her mom, her dad. Yeah. I guess it was just learning boundaries with your family. And um, I mean, I enjoyed being able to give my family work during a hard time and also see them and work with them every day. That was fun. But then it got to a point where I think we were just all drained being with each other every day um 12 hours a day but i mean i'm just glad that i got to have that experience and that no matter what happens i have my family to be there and support me through any projects or anything that's going on in my life um i know that i can always rely on that and i'm very blessed to have them yeah and you know what one of the other things i think in addition to the support from your family was our ability to take information from the consumer and make changes. Yeah. Because I look at where we were when we first started making these masks. 
and where we are today and all the great information that our customers provided us. Yeah, we were actually making face masks that were more catered to the consumer's comfort and safety. I mean, listening to people and their concerns about the masks that are out there right now and how can we improve them? I mean, from the point to like someone not being able to strap the ear the earlobe you know we wanted to make over the head um face mask and kids mask and i mean we have never made a face mask and then one day we're like let's do this and we were in the business of making face masks with not even knowing where this was gonna go so it was really a leap in faith and we did it so it was really um, a lesson in what we teach people how to create, mm -hmm. to really learn by your mistakes and take information and be aware of the unknown, then make your decisions. But we kept being tested the whole time. Yeah. Our values kept being tested. And here's what else people don't know. You were in here every day in the trenches. Yeah. It's not like somebody would order a mask and they would get that mask and it didn't have your touch on it. No. Or a part of you on that mask. Mm -hmm. What else? Do you have, do you oh have any? Oh my God. It it's just, just so much. It just feels like it was a long time ago, but it was just a year ago and it felt very stretched out. Like the days are all kind of mashed together. Yeah. I mean, we were working weekends. Yeah. Um, I don't remember it having much days off i mean it was tax season yeah. for you so tr you trying to juggle two businesses at the same time <laughs> <It's back. laughs> and um i just remember like rushing orders so that they can get in on time to ship out for the next day because we knew how m much people wanted yeah. these and then we started offering curbside pickup yeah. and i don't know i just felt like we were doing something amazing but we also were having fun creating these masks and having such a chaotic mess in here mm -hmm. that it was fun like i remember we would just to have the employees more spirit we had like a spirit week where we had like crazy hair day pajama day um wig day i don't know we just got really creative and we created this amazing bond with everybody i mean everybody got to learn how to sew how to cut how to ship Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I it's mean, been quite the journey. And again, I'm going to always go back to we constantly had our values tested. And I think one of the biggest events that happened that really pushed us to have to think through our values was when the um, protest yes. and the parade started to happen and here in San Diego. And we knew that that was something that was important to us that we support and we had to make a decision about if we support this How? this this could compromise our business because there is a percentage of the population out there that would not support us in supporting this in supporting something that we felt so uh, passionate about so we sat down Ashley and I and we had this conversation and we came to the decision and it really didn't take that long to decide and what we decided was Thank you.